You're welcome once again, friends. We are going to be continuing from where we stopped in the previous lesson. So in this lesson, we are going to be loading these polines. And then we will run analysis as well as design of all the structural elements. After we will be running a finite element analysis, so as to be able to design the splint slab as well as the beams at the splint level. These ones, all right? And so stay tuned, like the lesson. If you are still not subscribed, kindly subscribe to the channel. So you can be stayed connected. Let's go into the lesson. All right, so I will straight away navigate to the steeple line right there. Select the steeple line, right click, and then click on its property. In the polines dialog, navigate to the loads. And then over here, you can see we have various loads, including the wind load in the X and as well Y directions. But we'll be considering two loads, the dead load and as well the life load in this project because it is not an IRI structure. So I'll select G for my dead load and I'll add it right there. For the G, I will have a dead load of 0 0.26 right there. And over here, in this all element, I will select in assign load provisions, the drop down menu, check all, and then click on OK to assign it to the structure just like this. All right. The second load will be considering is the life load. I will activate that and add it right away. Then I will be having it to be 0 0.4. Over here, I will select L2, which is the level, the load level, and then I'll click on apply. So successfully, we have applied loads. Click on OK. At first, you have to save the project. We will navigate to the analysis tab right there. Click on the building analysis. In the building analysis dialog, the parameters of the project will have to check it out successfully. And so these are the codes, right? For the foundation design, we will have the soil bearing capacities of 120, just like this. You can get to the title and put the title, the project header made by check project number, okay? As well as the date. Click on OK. For the loading combination, click right there. Click on loading generator right there. Okay. We will be considering only vertical loads combinations. All right. We will not use horizontal load combinations in this lesson. All right. Click on the OK to apply the loadings combinations. Okay. Options to close the dialog. All right. We proceed. We want to set the materials. Okay. So we click on the material edit. And then the columns we will be considering. C25 to C20 25, I will apply this to all of the strength of the concrete right there. All right. Then for the great steel grade, we will consider uh, 460. Okay. 460, I will apply that to all. Okay. Then for the reinforcement for column, I will use minimum of 16 and the maximum of 25. I will remove this 32 right away. Okay. Just like this. Remove this one as well and click on OK. We have them in the structure, so we need to edit the beam reinforcement. Just likewise, okay, as we did for the columns, just like this, okay. We also have slabs there, right so we'll be using slab uh, reinforcement diameter 10, 12, and as well as 16, just like this, okay. After which, we click on okay. We also have to edit for links, for links, we'll be using 10 and 8. For the links, uncheck the rest of it right away, just like that. We navigate to the foundations. In the foundations, we'll be using C25 as well, okay. And then the steel grade 60 or 60 right there. And then the rebars consider 12 and 16 for the foundation footings design. All right, go back to the material default material, check this out to ensure that. All of this has been selected. If you notice, I selected this before, but it was changed to default. That is why we have to check it back again to ensure that we correct it for beam. The same thing. So just like this, just have to reselect it. Then for the slabs, we have to also reselect 12, 10, and 16. Okay, for the stirrups, 
which is the links we use x then just like that all right so after we click on the okay then you have to close this dialog and save the project we want to proceed to setting the material once more to ensure that the minimum and the maximum reinforcement is selected successfully come to setting in this setting dialog you will come to this query where we have columns design setting in the settings and parameter dialog navigate to steel bars and then longitudinal bars you will notice we need to select for the maximum okay so this column will be designed if it is only minimum that is selected the column will not be designed there must be maximum bar and as well minimum bar right away go to links ensure that links is selected successfully after which click on open we go back to settings again we go back to settings again this time around beam design settings beam design settings we'll be looking at a, a story beam setting all right in the dialog now we go to parameters you notice maximum beam steel diameter not selected you have to get that selected links diameter maximum not also selected you have to get that selected if that is not selected the the beam will not be designed there is no way you can get the beam design you have to take all of this for your own analysis of your structure right and so we click on the save to save that successfully go back to the settings again this time around we look at the foundation beam setting in the foundation beam setting you have to check it out to the maximum steel bars all right has to be selected the minimum okay the maximums of the steel ups have to also be selected successfully just like this save it go back again to the settings again this time around slabs you ensure the steel bars of the slab is being selected all right we take that okay as the minimum the program will select automatically for us uh, the ones that is capable of uh, withstanding the load successfully click on okay go back to setting again this time around the foundation setting so you have to check all of the settings one by one to ensure that the proper bar is selected this i'll be using 12 in as as main steel bar size okay so i will click on okay right there if i should go back to settings again i want to check the foundations again there is something in this provisions you have footings depth to be 450 and the first part footing form is a rectangle i want to change it to square all right so you can do the settings right here click on okay now after the settings has been done successfully you have to save the project okay just like this This time around the project is set for analysis so what you just need to do you go to the analysis tab you click right there and then building analysis in the building analysis dialog you navigate to the analysis tab right there check the project if there is any error on the project modeling error is zero there is no error so we are good to go close this dialog the program i wanted to design the column i wanted to design the beam i wanted to design the steam members as well as so you have to check all of that and then click on start right there I have to give the program some seconds to carry out the analysis successfully. Analysis wouldn't take much time because it is not a large structure. You can see building analysis completed successfully. All right, you can see it there. So click on the OK options and then close this. Uh, close this uh, uh, dialog. Or if you want to go to the post uh, analysis, you can go there and then check the model and analysis result displays. You can click right there. To look at the analytical model okay you want to see the analytical model this is the analytical model all right of the structure you can see you notice the beams is not showing the beam at the foundation level is not showing because it is it is it is in the head all right so you can just activate the diagram right there if you activate the diagram successfully you can check your m3 to the bending moment you can see all right you want to check uh, animations you can also check that out all right you can also come to these provisions and check an animation depending on the loads that is being applied to the structure so you can see the animations right there okay so you stop that and then have to close this dialog right away and then close these provisions this time around we want to check in if our members have actually passed the analysis and as well designed at first we will be checking the polars click on it right click and then select steel member design so in this steel member design dialog you can see 
uh, all the checks as pass check for combined forces section classification since class one works. Okay, and their compression check as also pass. And their tension uh, check, you know, bending check. All right, everything is good. All right, so we can also choose a smaller sections of this to see if we can reduce the uh, cost of the material. You will be testing sections. If you all do that, you use this chain section to test the sections. So you can choose the smaller sections. Okay. So I will click on OK to save that. For the steel truss, select that, right click, and then steel member design. So you can see the steel member design has passed design successfully. The steel truss passed design successfully. The slender and the next ratio is, uh, is showing red. And then the statute uh, ratio is, 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 is slender and the ratio for the, for the bottom cord. Okay, this one. Slender and the ratio is failing for the bottom cord. Alright, so you can see, you can see to how to make changes to that. Alright, so let's check the top cut. Alright, so the top cut, the slender and ratio is also giving a warning. But the utilization ratio has passed and the statute is passed. Okay, that can be, you know, corrected at the site. Okay, but for this one, for this one, we need to see how we can make change to the sections. So we click there and then we go to, in, uh, we go to UA. And then we will change the uh, section thickness. This one we are using 100 by 65 by 8 is section thickness. So we we'll select that and then we will uh, click on the OK and see. All right, you see it is it has a little bit change. So you can keep doing that once more and see uh, what how it works. Okay, so I will select this once more and then use 10. Let's let me use 75 by uh, 70, 100 by 75 by 8. All right, select that and then. You check that out. Okay, we will still uh, look at that. Um, used twelve thickness. Let's see, twelve thickness. Okay, I think that has passed the design. Okay, so click on okay. See, if it's statute now is passed. Okay, but the standard administration is still giving warning. That can be taken care of at site. Click on okay. All right. So for the beams. Uh, the story beams, uh, we can just select it and then be able to check the beam statute, uh, the design statute as pass. Okay, so this is it. All right, then for the columns, we will do the same thing. We are trying to ensure that all the members as pass design successfully. You see, the column as pass is given on 4, 4, 40, 16. Okay, you can see the spacing of the links 175 for all the columns successfully. Okay, the next thing we'll be looking at is the foundation beam, all right? So you double click on the story zero to activate the foundation story, all right? For the beam, you select it right there and then click on the beam reinforcement design. Active story, you see all the beams has passed, as a uh, fail, sorry. It is because the analysis was not actually taking place, but I will try bash mode to see what happens. So I will select over, click on calculate. I'll close this so you see the beam the nasty pass the issue is the beam is below uh story is, is actually in the soil and since the beam is in the soil what we need the type of analysis we can use is uh, the finite element analysis to design for this beam to pass successfully all right so i will have to close this and then i'll navigate to the plan view before then i'll have to save the project all right so Likewise to this slab now, if for instance I want to draw a slab strips here, yeah, you notice that the strips will not generate reinforcement because the slab is directly on the soil. Alright? And the reinforcement will be generated using the finite element analysis method. Okay? So I will try that. Click on the strips, this one. And then I will be in analytical strips. I pick the first point with the control key to have a straight line. Pick the second point, you see the strips is not generated. And so this will lead us to carry out finite element analysis. So the ground, the straight beam, and as well as the slab at the deepest level can be designed successfully. So I'll have to delete these uh, strips right away. And before I end the analysis, I have to draw what we call analytical strips. So you have to click on this uh, strips right there, and then you navigate to FE strips, which is the finite element strips. All right. When you come to FE provisions, we check this first one. All right. Go back to the general. So we start to draw it in the x direction. So you activate the x directions right there. Pick the first point. Put the control key to have a straight line. The same thing in this particular provisions, and in these provisions, you just have to do the strips like this before you carry out the uh, FE raft design. Just like this, you go to the 
vertical directions and you will have something of this kind just like this all right after which close this dialog save the project first All right, so now we get to the analysis tab, and then this time around we will be looking at FE Raft Foundation Analysis. Click right there. And these provisions include column sections in FE mode and use this. Then straight away select Raft Foundation Mesh and Analysis. Give the program some time to prepare the finite element model. The model is prepared successfully. All right. So we get the model prepared just like this. In these provisions we can change here to 100 okay and click on generate model and we have the model generated just like this successfully after which we have to click on the close so we can transfer to where we can start the design so here we are in the post process post analysis processing and report so we just click on this following the uh, bank capacity 120 kilo newton per square meter. So you click on analysis post processing. All right, so this has taken us to these provisions. In this provision, what we need to do, we are going to design these slabs and then transfer the strips right here successfully. But at first, you have to activate the standard contour. We wouldn't want to use this uh, user defined contour because we wouldn't want to select the uh, we don't want to select the reinforcement manually based on the area. We will allow the program to select the reinforcement for us successfully, okay? So after activating the standard contour right there, what you need to do, the moment, bend the moment in the global axis X, Y, and M, S, Y, all right? Then in the local axis L1, 2, and 12. Just have to click on that, okay? For design moments using wood and armor, MD1, 2, bottom, MD1, 2, top, all right? So... After which, now we have to design for the required areas. The first one, see the area we have it over here, okay? The critical area is showing there. So, through these provisions, you can use it to select your reinforcement size using the table. But in this case, we're not going to do that. The program will generate reinforcement for us successfully. Let's watch out. So, area is still in the direction one, top, and direction two, top, okay? So, we get that done successfully. The model is okay. We'll look at the soil if there's anything wrong with the soil you see everything is showing okay right there the soil is good all right for the threshold the threshold is also good so after being carried out the analysis and design just like this close this dialog the program will ask us to transfer the strips slab strips of fa results okay so we click on okay you have to give the program some time to transfer this it's going to travel from x1 transfer x2 x3 4 5 and then 6 and that is the final one. Before we now take us to where we transfer the FA result to the beams. Okay. So that is about to be done now, right? It is done. So you just have to click on this transfer foundation beam result. Click like this. So you see, if you read here, you see foundation beam, final element result are transferred successfully. So you just have to close this. So once you close this, what you just need to do is just have to right click and then come to this provision where you have arrange all steel bars, update steel bars. Once you click here, steel bars will be generated on this uh, on this slab now. So just click on that update. So you can see the steel bars generated successfully. So we now have our steel bars generated just like this. Okay, for the slab. So slab is designed successfully, as you can see. Alright, then for the beams, now you click on the beams, right click and then you have to click on this provisions. Then try to run the bash mode again. And click on close. You notice the beam is not responding, okay? But the utilization ratio is being selected. So, what you need to do, you have to do interactive design on the beams individually, all right? So, you can see interactive design in this provision. You have to increase this to three, three, all right? So, you can remove this, okay? It's filling there. So, this is be, it should be a support bar. So, you have to use uh second layer because it's a support bar all right increase this to three all right this provision three as well here yeah, three so with this i think the beam will pass okay you can see it's as passed so the same thing you're going to do to all of this beam okay you do the same thing to all of this beam all right so you try to remove these uh, links it's failing so there is a need for it select it but make it a 
second uh, layer is going to you are going to space her to separate this and this and the second layers all right the same thing will be applicable to all of this click on okay so the same thing you are going to do to all of this beam and this beam should pass uh, design successfully all right after which you have to close this okay navigate to the 3d so yeah in the structure this time around we'll be looking at the foundation design okay select this foundation design select this one right click the column all right and then insert part footings insert part base all right so click right there in these provisions uh, t12 is selected as the bar so you just have to calculate after which it's already squared one meter by one meter you check for uh, shear okay everything is very okay click on okay so come up here okay option again to insert the part footings the same thing applicable to this all right insert part footings calculates everything is okay click on okay and okay again so this is how you insert part footings successfully for this structure all right so we bring the lesson to a stop here. If you have any comments or questions, drop it at the comment sections. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next lesson. Stay tuned and stay safe. Bye for now.